Thank you very much. And I should really stay in, in France longer, but because already in one day my Fran French has improved tremendously. <laughs> I can understand younger people as well as older people. I was explaining that uh, when I first came, that is to say yesterday, I've had difficulty understanding younger people because they tend to mumble. But uh, older people I could understand, but now I can understand both the old and the young. So I feel I have improved a great deal in 24 hours. Uh, the, uh, I, I said that it's not, not true that my father used to put flowers in my hair because I was two years when my father died and at that time I had no hair. <laughs> I was always kept with a, 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 we, in Burma we believe that if you shave children's hair it grows thick and long. So at that time I had um, hardly any hair, my hair was always shaved, that's why I say it was just a myth, a legend. Uh, but I'm very touched that people think that he put flowers in my hair. Mm. The reason why I wear flowers in my hair is actually because my mother used to do so. Yeah. Because the Burmese used to do so. This is very much a Burmese trans uh, tradition that uh, ladies wear flowers, women wear tra flowers in their hair, girls wear flowers in their hair. But these days, Burmese girls have started cutting their sh hair short. And so they don't, no longer wear flowers in, in their hair. And on top of it, they don't know how to put flowers in their hair and have great difficulty mm -hmm. because my personal assistant has short hair and doesn't know mm -hmm. how to help me. But uh, I'm very happy to be here. And when uh, uh, the minister said that uh, Paris, France signed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, I'd like to remind everybody that so did Burma. Burma signed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in December 1948 and was one of the first mm -hmm. countries in the world to do so. So we should be committed to upholding all the basic human rights. And in the beginning, when we first became independent, we were a democracy, a parliamentary democracy, and we certainly uh, put a lot of importance on, the, uh, on support for human rights. These rights were eroded during the years of military rule, but we hope that we will be able to restore them to their former glory. And in our struggle to do this, we have been helped greatly by countries like France, which believe in the basic values that are linked to an acceptance of every human being to preserve his or her dignity. I was asked um, a couple of days ago in London what I thought of uh, people who say that some countries are not yet fit for democracy. And I said that in my opinion, if there is just one person in that country who truly believes in basic human dignity, then that country is fit for de democracy. But in order to make ourselves familiar with the institutions as well as the practices of democracy, we need the help of mature democracies. And uh, this, this help we have been having in generous measure. I have been very touched by the warmth, uh, by the enthusiasm with which people all, in all the countries I have visited since uh, last month have shown with regard to our cause. In Thailand, which is a close neighbor, and uh, a fellow member of ASEAN, uh, I found that the people of Thailand were very much aware of the struggle of the people of Burma. And although as neighbors, we have little problems, such as you have with the English and the Germans, etc., uh, I am confident that these problems will be overcome. And we will be able to work together to make our region part of uh, the world that respects human rights, not just by word of mouth, but respects it in action. We have to show that we respect human rights by everyday action in our countries. Uh, the, the minister has talked about the recent changes in Burma, and there have been changes, but these changes need to be maintained. We are just at the beginning of a road. And I have emphasized the fact that this is not a road which is ready and waiting for us, but a road that we will have to build as we go along. This road is open, but actually, like a lot of roads in Burma, in very bad condition. <laughs> so we must repair and maintain this road as we go along. And in this work of 
maintenance and repair. We will need the help of our friends. I have repeatedly emphasized the need for development and humanitarian aid and investment, which are democracy free and human, uh, democracy friendly and human rights friendly. That is to say, which are based on uh, such, uh, such principles as accountability and transparency, and which keep up an awareness of the reforms that are still needed in our country. So investment, aid, whether development or humanitarian, should be carefully tailored and calibrated in order to help the process of reform. I do not think that I need to remind uh, the people of France and the French government how important are such values as liberty, equality, and fraternity. But for us, these are still prizes to be won through hard work and through perseverance. But I have no doubt that with the goodwill of and practical help of friends from all over the world, we will be able to claim these prizes for our own. And we need to be extra careful within the next three years, because 2015 is when the next general elections are. And before this next general elections, we would like to make sure that Burma is a country where elections are truly democratic and truly free and fair, and that that will be a year when the people can say, we are in a position to shape the destiny of our country. Thank you.